Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my channel, Rosalogy. I pray that you all are doing well, staying safe and protected out there in these crazy times. Now whether you are cross-watching or tuning in for yourself, I'm very, very happy and honored to have you here. This is the April forecast for Taurus and that is sun, moon, and rising. So I've casted some runes, I've pulled some cards for each sign, and I'm ready to get to it if you guys are. So for those of you that are not interested in the meditation, just go on ahead and fast forward about 20 to 30 seconds from now to just get straight to your reading. For those that want to do the meditation, get into a relaxed and quiet zone, channel your body, and we'll start that meditation in five, four, three, two, one. Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be starting off with your tarot cards before getting to your oracle cards, but even before we get to the cards, you guys, I have pulled some runes for each uh, zodiac sign for the month of April. This is the rune of gift, relationships, sacrifices, exchange, contracts, partnerships, and divine intervention. The next rune that we have here is the rune of joy, heritage, pleasure, and contentment. The next rune that we have here is the rune of dawn, intuition, breakthrough, and awakening. This is the rune here of death, dreaming, magic, and strength. And this is the rune of knowledge, revelation, clarity, vision, creativity, and ability. This is the rune of victory, leadership, warrior, masculine Mars energy. What I'm getting from this is there's a lot of almost like... It seems like forceful energy, aggressive energy for your month of April. It seems like not that anything like, not that you're going to be forced to do anything you don't want to do, but the energy is just going to be so unavoidable. There's going to be something that it, what it feels like to me is something that you want to avoid, but you can't avoid. You're trying to avoid, but you won't be able to. That's what I mean when I say forceful energy. Just from um, the the runes that I'm seeing here uh, with this, there's a lot of masculine energy. It, we had the other rune here um, of death. You know, this is masculine energy here. So this is like Mars and Pluto coming together. This is a type of energy that forces you to acknowledge it, basically. So whatever is going on in April, Taurus, um, it's something that has to happen it's just something that has to happen okay so let's go on ahead and get to your tarot card so we can get a more in-depth uh look at what exactly is going on for your month of april and the very first card that we have here is the very first card that we have here is the world then the lovers in reverse wow death in reverse we even pulled the rune of death and when i say death i do not mean a literal one so please don't freak out and then we have the four of swords in reverse here so what i'm picking up here is you are cracked wide open taurus you are feeling very exposed and bare because of this energy you've been feeling for a very long time that this moment was coming this is what i'm picking up here there's been some sort of moment that's going to happen in april or, or or some sort of change some sort of transformation some sort of decision some sort of action some sort of something that is going to happen in the month of april that has been needing to happen for a very long time and what i'm feeling right here from these first four cards is you've been knowing for a very long time that this moment was coming and you've put it off for as long as you could but you're not able to anymore not in april like i said with the runes over here this is very forceful energy that's going to force you to acknowledge it. it's going to force you to acknowledge something that you've been trying to sort of avoid for a while some of you feel like some of you may feel like in April that you have to choose between yourself and something else, your career versus your relationship, your relationship versus your family, your friends versus something else. Many of you feel like your back is against the wall in, in, in the month of April, like the time has come to deal with something critical and crucial to your future. You may feel like you are choosing between the past and your future. Actually, that may be what you feel um, this almost like separation. It's almost like this earthquake of, um, you know, either I have to do this or I have to do that. There's definitely like a line in the sand being drawn. And on one side is your future. On the other side is the past or a pattern or a karm or some sort of karmic cycle, something that has been sort of um, doing the same thing over and over and over again. So 
you know, um, you may definitely feel like you are choosing between your past and your future. And that's always a very heavy, very heavy decision. So this choice may bring up feelings of guilt almost um, in the month of April, like you're leaving certain people or situations behind, but you are doing what needs to be done, Taurus. It's amazing, right? How sometimes we punish ourselves for doing what needs to be done. And it seems like this is happening at such a fast pace, even though you were more than aware that this had to happen for a while now, but it still is going to feel very fast paced, maybe even uncomfortable, a bit unstable. And you may even feel out of sorts because of this change, you know, like, as Tauruses, we hate change, right? We hate it with a passion. But it's going to be very important this month to not lean too hard on your relationships to center you because for very many of you, it's your relationships that kind of got you here. It, there's some sort of dependency um, for very many of you on your relationships or certain people in your life. And you're being sort of separated from that with this lover's card in reverse here. You're being torn away from it, even though you don't want to with this death card in reverse. And the four swords in reverse is letting me know that you're not going to feel um, good about this. You're going to feel a little restless. You're going to feel you're just you're just going to feel out of sorts with this four swords in reverse. Four of swords upright um, is a card, is an energy that is very at rest. They're, they're so at rest that they're meditating. They almost look dead, <laughs> you know? And so to see this in reverse is saying there could be a lot of anxiety. There could be almost like this wired, you know, you know, like a person that drank too much caffeine or something and they're very wired. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting where it's like, it's almost just like every little thing could almost startle you or make you feel some sort of way, basically. Be very careful about leaning on your relationships because for very many of you, like I was saying, your relationships is the reason why you are here at this moment, having to make such a crucial, important decision. So even if someone comes back for the month of April, I'm picking this up very strongly for my Tauruses, if, some, if someone comes back in the month of April saying, take me back or I miss you, I would not entertain that right now, Taurus, because you are already going to be feel, feeling not very much like yourself. You won't feel at rest like I was saying, with this four of swords in reverse, we're at peace with what's happening because it's going to feel a bit unsettling. Us Taurians, we hate change, right? But it's just about getting acclimated to it with this death card in reverse. This April, very many of you are embarking on this change. You are acting on something that you've been trying to put off for a while because you didn't feel like dealing with the aftershocks of it. But now you don't necessarily, it's not that you necessarily feel ready. It's just more of a knowing you have where you know that it's now or never. You know, it's like, it's like this feeling that you get where it's like, you know what, it's now or never. I, either I have to choose to stay the course or I have to choose to change things. Because if you want your future to be different, you're going to have to make this drastic change. And this drastic change you've been really trying to stave it off you've been trying to push it off you do not want to deal with this because you know for you it's going to feel like a tower moment even though that may not necessarily be happening for you it's going to feel like a tower moment because you are being split away from something that you may have been a little bit dependent on codependent on for a while now um so don't necessarily allow them to come back in a way where they could affect you in the month of April because you really need calm and peace in the month of April with this four of swords being in reverse this death card being in reverse this lover's card being in reverse and the lover's card is a card of choice the lover's is all about do I choose left or right do I choose my past or my future so this is saying right here there's a choice that you do not want to make because once you make this choice it's going to change things forever with this death card in reverse and you really don't feel like doing that because you already know you're already anticipating that this is going to disrupt a lot of in your in your life with this four swords in reverse here you're finally going to be realizing that it's it's now or never you're working with a very concentrated uh window of time where it's like okay either i do this now or <laughs> or never basically you know um but I, but this decision is coming this is your chance basically taurus to really change or to take a step or to take a step towards this change towards your future that's the thing that you really need to realize is like as as dramatic as this feels as drastic as this feels you are walking towards your future let's go ahead and check out your other cards and we have here the seven of swords in reverse the king of pentacles and the six of wands in reverse really important to say you're not cheating yourself 
Seven of Swords, out of your future anymore, Taurus, with this King of Pentacles right here. The King of Pentacles is your future, right? That's your future. The Seven of Swords, um, this is sort of your past that you're walking away from. You, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, who'd you cut off? Who did you cut off? Did you cut someone off recently? Or is that something that's happening in April? Oh, this came through hardcore. Wow. Um, Somebody was stealing Seven of Swords in reverse. Somebody was stealing this from you, this King of Pentacles from you. It may have been you allowing someone or a, a certain energy to be in your life that was keeping you from your King of Pentacles, which is aka your future. But your masculine energy came out with someone, this King of Pentacles right here. Actually, with everyone, I just heard spirit correct me. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, some of you brought your masculine energy out with everyone in your life to create some boundaries because with the seven of, um, swords in reverse, they were feeding on your success or the success that is due to come to you. If you feel you are not close to your goal, look at what's in your environment, Taurus, who is around you, how you spend your time. Take a really close look at that because it's something that was trying to go undetected. Something or someone was trying to go undetected and they wanted to keep just like the seven of pinnacle, the seven of uh, swords right here. The seven of swords, he's an extremely greedy little person. He's already gotten away with so much with stealing five swords, but it's not enough. He's looking at two more that he could get. So whatever this energy was, it was extremely greedy, extremely parasitic. I mean, whatever this was, it was it was going to suck you dry and not necessarily that it wanted to. It was that's just how it operates. For some of you, this is somebody in your life that is trying to survive on survivor's mode, survivor's mentality. It's like they're always just above water. And because of that, they don't know how to not take advantage of people. It's not as though they are purposely trying to do this. It's just that they don't know how to not take advantage of people. It's really important that I say this, Taurus, but sometimes people steal energy and love from others because they are so afraid and scared to love or they are afraid of love. They think that they've been hurt or burned by love before, but they weren't hurt by the love. They were hurt by another's actions, but they take it out on love. And instead of giving it, they resort to taking it, only receiving instead of giving. But it's not your responsibility to show them true love. Your only responsibility is to love yourself. And sometimes that means withholding your love from whoever this is. Because some people, they want unconditional love with conditions. They expect unconditional love from you. The things that they expect of you, they don't want you to expect of them. And that's what was stealing from you. That's what that was. So your masculine energy came in to create boundaries. This person can, can smell the success that's coming to you, the abundance, the blessings that's coming to you. Just like your eyes, you know, can see its physical environment, your third eye, your intuition can also see and sense other people's energy. This person or these people knew that this was coming to you. This King of Pentacles was due to you. Really look at your environment to see what you're around and how you spend your time. Take a really close look at that. If you've been paying attention, you know who or what this person is. You know who or what this is. I'm hearing that you've dreamed about it before. Some of you have dreamt about this person or situation or energy taking from you, causing you to have a tower moment. Some of you have already seen this in a dream or a vision. And so you are already kind of aware of something going on or your intuition has been speaking to you, telling you that something isn't right. You might not be getting more answers than that, more clarity than that, but something has been hitting you, speaking to you, saying like something isn't right. As well as in the month of April, <laughs> it's kind of funny to me, but you may say something without necessarily wanting to with the Seven of Swords, almost as if like your words get away from you, um, but you really needed to say it, Taurus. You really needed to say it because it was draining you and it was keeping you from this, your King of Pentacles energy, your masculine energy came out and stopped this. Whoever or whatever this was, your masculine energy came out and stopped this dead in its tracks. So be proud of yourself. You're not going to feel proud of yourself with the six of wands over here in reverse, though. You're not going to feel like setting that boundary or saying what was said or what was needed to say was a good idea or a good thing. But it is. You need it to do it. And it's not going to feel good to you because you're a Taurus, right? So you're naturally a giver. You're naturally someone that 
wants everyone to be happy and wants everyone to be supported and taken care of and in good health and in good spirits. But at the same time, this month of April, Taurus, is all about you prioritizing yourself over anything and everyone else. And that feels extremely unnatural to a Taurus. It feels extremely unnatural, but that's something that needs to be done. Your masculine energy is trying to come through and is saying right now it just needs to be about you and nothing else. Your masculine energy got pissed, got pissed. And so that's why I'm saying that you might accidentally say something where your words get away from you because when we're dealing with the swords, we're dealing with um, the mind, the, the, the way that we communicate, our intellect, how we learn things like that, right? Translation as well. So... With both of these swords cards in reverse, four of swords and the seven of swords in reverse, this is you being tired. You're you're tired. You're drained because something's been stealing from you. And because of that, your masculine energy came out and it put a stop to it. It put a stop to it. And like I said, you're not going to feel good about that, but it's something that you had to do. Let's see what's under the, underneath the deck here. And we have the ten of cups. See, look at that. Look at what you have a chance at now, Taurus. Do you see that? Look at what you have a chance at now. You wouldn't have had this chance right here if this situation, energy, or person was still feeding off of you. Because even if you would have um, ended up with this Ten of Cups right here, it would have been tainted, poisoned, damaged, or drained. With the Seven of Swords energy being around, this seven, of, this seven of Swords energy being around would have taken a few of these cups. So you wouldn't have ended up with the Ten of Cups. You'd have ended up with like the Six or the Seven or the Eight of Cups, something like that, right? Because this energy has been, this energy is just going to suck everything that you receive. Everything that you work for, this energy, it doesn't know how to not do that. And like I said, I'm not seeing this as like a... um. A energy that does this on person on purpose or a person that does this on purpose they just don't know how to be any other way and you had to put your foot down even though you truly want to help them and be there for them you had to put your foot down it's very important for some of you that's the type of situation that you're dealing with for others of you this is an energy that could care less about if it drains you of everything that you have it's an energy that could care less it would drain you of everything and then and then it would move on to the next. So it's a really good thing that your masculine energy comes out this April. And even if you accidentally say, say something that sort of um, startles that person, because <laughs> I'm seeing like I'm seeing like you accidentally say something where you're like in your brain, you're like, oh, shit, I kind of didn't mean to say that. But at the same time, I kind of did. And th the, whoever you say this to, they're just very shocked. They're shocked. They're shocked that you say it. But you had to say it. This month needs to be all about you. So be proud of yourself. Be proud of yourself. Don't feel guilty or down. And don't talk yourself into relinquishing the boundaries that you are going to be setting this, this April. Some of you have set these boundaries late March. Um, but for many of you, it's going to be happening in April as well. Um, even if you did set some boundaries in, in late March, you're still going to be setting more boundaries come April. So like I said, there may be someone or some people trying to come to you in April to make amends, but I would not fool with it because this energy is extremely intelligent. The seven of, of swords is swift, quick, and manipulative. It thinks it's smarter than you and can slither back into your life or ease you back into their life because this energy knows what's up. It knows you've got this king of pentacles energy coming to you and it doesn't want that to happen because this then you're really not going to need them. That, that's what it is. That's what they're worried about. That you're going to wake up one day and realize you don't need them. Someone is fucking terrified of that. And they're doing everything in their power to keep you from seeing that. To keep you from embracing your king of pentacles. To keep you from obtaining your king of pentacles. Because when you have this much abundance like the king of pentacles. Like how he sits on his throne and rules and he doesn't take any bullshit. If you step into that sort of power, you're going to clearly see not only do I not need you, the seven of swords energy, but I don't want you. You're not going to want that. You're not going to want that around you. And that is what they're terrified of. They're worried that you are going to wake up and realize you don't need them. That's how they were stealing from you, Taurus. So good job. Be proud of yourself for not engaging in these mental games. It's a mind fuck. But they weren't expecting you to be alert, aware, and awake when they came looking for 
more to steal from you. You saw them or will see them this April very clearly for who and what they are. And that's something that you won't ever forget. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's the beautiful thing about the truth. It's interesting too, because this was the card underneath the deck for Capricorn as well. Really interesting. So check out where Capricorn falls in your chart um, as well as your 10th house, okay? So let's go on ahead and get to you guys' Oracle cards here. All right. Actually, I should start. Well, we just flipped it, right? <laughs> so this card here is Cupio de Salvi. So I'll be reading the um, definition of this out of the book that came with it. And then here we have Uranus Genius. Okay, so with Uranus Genius, Uranus is the ruler of the 11th house and the... Um, sign Aquarius. So Uranus is a very disruptive planet. And that's the thing here. This disruption that's coming in, um, Taurus, is a disruption that is actually going to stabilize you. This chaos is going to come in to actually bring you peace. That's kind of what I'm seeing here with this Uranus genius card here, um, as well as this Uranus genius card is giving me the feeling of, oops, I, I got you. I got you. You're not going to trick me anymore. I got you. I figured out who you were. It's like a, a realization, your eyes opening and you coming into this awareness that, hey, all I need is myself. I am very independent. I don't need you. I can want you. I can have you in my life. But needing and, and you know, needing is a very, very strong word. You don't necessarily need whatever this is. Like I said, for some of you, this was kind of a codependent situation. So there may have been a little bit of toxicity in this. But Uranus is coming through to say like, hey, you're going to really find or establish some individuality and some independence. Not even individuality, but definitely independence for the month of April for very many of my Tauruses. Then we have here Mars force. Yeah. Okay, so Mars is currently moving through the sign of Capricorn. Like I said, this is very forceful energy that's happening this month of April where your masculine energy is going to take over. Uranus and Mars, these are both very masculine energies and your masculine energy is really coming through in April to take over and to create boundaries. So you may like accidentally say things you don't mean to say. <laughs> You may say things you don't, you don't mean to say. You may do things where it's like, where it's like, damn, why did I just do that? Or why did I just say that? That might have been a little mean. Honestly, just go with it because people are not expecting you to put your foot down. And if you creating boundaries for yourself pisses anybody off that claims to care about you, um, they don't they don't care. They don't care about you the way that they say they do. Because a person that loves you and cares about you and respects you and wants to see you operating at your highest and greatest good, they would never try to debate you on you creating boundaries because these boundaries what is boundaries it just means I'm disciplined I have to be more disciplined in, in a certain area of my life because I have a certain goal okay so this is discipline that's coming in and you're going to also be you're you're going to be getting disciplined by this energy and you're also going to be disciplining other people and, and energies around you you're going to be putting everything in its place because you're going to be putting you're going to be put in your own place basically but this is a place that you need to be in order for you to move towards your future the future that you want the next card that we have here yeah look at that grant cross provoker exactly there's going to be a few conversations that might not go as great or like I said you just accidentally kind of say some things that you don't mean and for some of you some of you are going to be like finally I get to say what I wanted to say there's going to be this feeling of relief at first you may feel a little bad a little guilty a little this a little that but it's going to be this feeling of relief like oh my god I got that off my chest oh my god I needed to say that you know and um that's what I'm seeing with this Grand Cross Provoker, as well as this energy in general is just very provoking. This is very masculine energy. So this is very triggering, provoking sort of energy that you're dealing with this month. And then we have, look at that, Jupiter Abundance. <laughs> Jupiter, another masculine planet coming through. Another very masculine energy, just like this King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, your, your masculine energy is not playing. It did not come to play this April. Because it, your masculine energy is extremely focused and dedicated to the goal, to your future. And some of you have called on your masculine energy to help you get to your goal. When we manifest, we draw things in, right? We draw them in. And then the universe says, okay, I brought this to you halfway. Now you have to go and take it. I've talked about this. I've talked about how manifestation works in terms of masculine and feminine energy. This was like a year ago. And so basically... um. 
you know, now your masculine energy is kicking and saying, okay, we need to go get this future. We've manifested it. It's come in halfway. Now we, now we have to go and get it. But in order to go and get it, there has to be certain things that are, um, we have to be very disciplined and certain things have to be in their place. Otherwise, they're just going to get in the way. And that's what I'm seeing here, as well as Jupiter abundance. This is, this is a lot of, um, this is a lot coming to you. It, it's huge. Whatever it is, it's coming to you. It's big, but you just have to be disciplined to go and get it. Look at this. <laughs> Grand Trine blessings. Exactly. Exactly. That's what's coming to you. We have Grand Cross Provoker, Grand Trine blessings. You're going to be provoked and triggered because that is what needs to happen in order for you to go and receive your blessings, the things that you've been trying to manifest. You have to provoke some things. You have to, Uranus, Uranus is a planet of disruption. Mars is a planet of force and war. Jupiter is, is the planet of um, amplifying, magnifying things. So this is magnified energy of war and, um, and disruption. But has everything, has anything good ever come by us just sitting and, and being quiet and playing nice? No. In order for you to change, in order for you to transform, you have to revolutionize. Revolutionizing something means that you have to go against the grain. You have to disrupt something that has been moving in a certain direction for however long it has. And like I said, you've been very aware that something's been moving in a certain direction and you want to change that. You're ready to change that now. You're coming up to a place where either you're ready to or you're going to realize like, here's my, here's my moment. I have to do this. There's going to be a lot of here's my moments in the month of April for my my Tauruses, where it's like, here's my moment to say what I need to say. Here's my moment to have this big conversation. Here's my moment to claim my independence. Here's my moment to go out and claim my blessings. Here's my moment to get disciplined. Here's my moment to take my future and make it mine, to go out and conquer it. It's going to be a lot of those happening in the month of April for you guys. Third house messages. You're going to be getting um, messages in the month of April. Communicating is going to be, communication is going to be very, very, a very big deal in the month of April. Like I was saying, um, th these conversations may be a little difficult. You may actually end up saying things you don't want to say, but your third house is going to be very activated. So check out your third house, see what's rolling through there. The third house is ruled by Gemini. Gemini is a, the sign of communication. So for sure, you're going to be telling people how you feel, what you need, what your boundaries are. And if they can't do it, your masculine energy is going to um, instruct you. It's going to give you a message to cut that out for the month of April, at least for the month of April, because you don't have time for that. Right now, what's happening for my Tauruses, it looks like as well for my other earth signs too. Um, what, right now what's happening is you're actually setting up the rest of this year. Okay. So this is a really big deal what's happening. And that's why you just, you have no other option besides, um, being very, very serious about what's happening. All right, let's check these out. Next we have here A and adaptability. Exactly. You're, you're, you're acclimating, like I was saying with this death card down here, you're acclimating to this new normal, to this new life, you know? Then we have here Demeter Nurturer. Try to really nurture yourself as well as for some reason I'm getting the feeling of the sun. If you can invite some sun into your, your home, you know, keep the blinds open, open up the windows for some fresh air, something like that. And, and then she's grasping, she's, she's holding wheat in her hand. Um, it's interesting. I just had a dream about wheat a couple nights ago. Um, but yeah, so wheat is the symbol for abundance. Again, we have a lot of abundance coming in with the Jupiter Abundance card, Demeter Nurturer, and this King of Pentacles. You're nurturing something. That's what she's trying to come through to say you are nurturing your future with the steps that you are t taking right now in the month of April. By you being disciplined, by you disciplining others, by you setting boundaries for yourself and others, you are nurturing your future. You are planting seeds right now that you're going to be harvesting later on right now this month is extremely critical and crucial for my Tauruses if you want this year if you want to really see this year change like you've never seen your life before this is the month this is the month this is that now or never moment the entire month of April all right let's check out what your romance cards have to say new love interesting a new person has stirred your romantic feelings some of you are inviting in 
new love. This Ten of Cups is down here as well. So some of you are inviting in a new energy, a new person into your life. You probably have a lot of sexual energy, sexual chemistry with, because we have the Lover's card here. Yeah, we have the card of Gemini and then the third house messages. So you may meet somebody over the internet, Taurus. You may meet someone over the internet this April. That may happen for Gemini to come up twice. Yeah. And we have here, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Exactly. That's what you're doing this April. That's what you're doing this April, as well as it looks like you're going to be doing that with your love life, very many of you. And then we have here, you deserve love. You are lovable. Don't ever forget that. No matter what somebody is saying, how they are acting, what they are doing, how they are taking from you and not giving. Like I said, there's a lot of people out here. They have expectations for you, but they don't want you to have expectations for them. They want unconditional love with conditions. You deserve everything that love has to offer you. Unconditional love without conditions. That's the point, right? <laughs> and then for your uh, health cards here, we have forgiveness heals. Okay, there may be someone that you need to forgive that you're a little bit upset with. It may be this energy right here, the Seven of Swords energy. You're definitely going to find out that somebody is doing something they shouldn't have been doing. Um, there's definitely going to be some sort of revelation here, especially with this world card here. There's going to be some sort of revelation of exactly what's been going on. And it's not going to feel like a win or a victory. This is not going to feel like something that you want to celebrate because it's like, damn, I, why were they doing me like that? Like, I do everything for them. I do anything I can for them. I do it for them. And so it's not going to feel like a victory or success for you. You're not going to realize until later on that this was a huge win for me being separated from this individual or being separated from this energy because it was taking from me so forgive okay and it says here dear god and archangel raphael i am willing to forgive myself and others in exchange for what i really want peace and health and then we have wow jesus the divine healer dear jesus thank you for your divine healing power and presence so jesus may be your ascendant master some of you guys may have Jesus as an ascendant master of yours, a guide of yours. Um, he also may be coming through as well to try and guide you this month. Like I said, we have a lot of masculine energy here. To me, Jesus has always felt like very feminine energy because he's so healing. But, um, you know, there's no mistaking about it. Jesus was considered a man. So this is more masculine energy coming through. So let me go ahead and get the book to read this right here. It is time to let go. Things are working out in their own way. Trust that your heart is wise and is leading you on a soul healing journey and the right spiritual path. Spirit wants to bring you a blessing and a resolution, but you must let go and allow it to happen. Exactly let go. Death card in reverse. Events are unfolding according to a higher plan. Even if your plans are going awry, know that all will come together at the right time and in the best way possible. Surrender your struggle and hold on to your faith. Exactly. You're going to feel like this isn't something good that's happening happening but it is you're you may feel like you're taking steps backwards but you're not you're walking right towards your future don't forget that Taurus do not lose your faith you've got a lot of good coming to you it's just things are a little chaotic right now because you're being stabilized your life is being stabilized your life is coming together um, but in order for that to happen a lot of things needed to change so this is all that I'm saying Taurus thank you guys so very much for tuning in I pray that this reading brought you guys some love support clarity and strength I want to take this time to thank your guides my guides our higher self amazing sphere for these messages today hopefully you all come back to visit me sometime soon but until next time you guys stay safe stay blessed please keep conquering the world and I'll be back next time all right bye guys